What's going on, everybody? Mike Samich coming at you for RacingDudes.com. Here to preview Sunday's stakes at Saratoga, the grade three quick call scheduled for a mile and a half on the turf. Very way, may very may well end up mile and a half on the dirt. We're expecting storms up here starting around 2 a.m. this morning. Should get a ton of rain, so I will give out uh, who I like on the turf here. We'll also talk a little bit about who I like if we do end up on the dirt. With the turf picks, let's start with the 10 here. Gaslight Dance, your favorite, 7 to 2 morning line. Don't love the post draw. Drew the 10 here. Uh, one, two back at Keeneland going five and a half over a good turf. So we do stay on the turf and it's good. That's a positive for the 10 Gaslight Dancer. It was six to one that day. Came back as your even money favorite and disappointed last time out at Churchill. Tough to take a short price on Gaslight Dancer. We'll see what the off odds are here, but not a horse that I'm absolutely in love with, especially considering what the price is. Uh, let's go to the three horse, Eyewitness, who's going to be your second choice on the morning line here. Wesley Ward, Jose Ortiz up. Horse made a nice move middle of the race last time. Ended up beating Inflation Nation by a neck. The key there was they were five lengths ahead of the rest of that eight horse field. So Eyewitness looked very good there. That was at seven furlongs, cutting back to five and a half. Shouldn't be an issue. Was able to win at six uh, and show speed in a debut at six as well. So I don't think this cutback here is going to be a problem for the three Eyewitness. The one horse, the other Wesley Ward, no nay Hudson in here. Graham picks up the mount. I love what this horse did last time out, and it could be very beneficial in this race today. Ton of speed signed up here if we stay on the turf. And no nay Hudson broke from the five post and was sitting seven of eight at the first call, six of eight at the half mile point, made a nice move around the far turn, was able to get up fairly easily and beat both two of a kind and Gaslight Dancer last time. Got 10 to one there, was five to one the previous race, losing to Gaslight Dancer, six to one on the morning line. Hopefully we get every bit of the six to one if we do stay on the turf. A couple other horses that I want to at least mention in here. Uh, the seven horse better days ahead, I think is really interesting for Joe Sharp, either turf or dirt in this spot. Horse ran well on the dirt in three starts, broke the maiden on the dirt and notice faced Saudi Crown three back and instant coffee four back in the two debut races, first and second race for this horse. Broke the maiden then next time out and was able to win first time on the turf and did so in between horses. It was just a very odd trip for a horse that wants to be forwardly placed. I think if any speed does hold on, it's the seven better days ahead here. Uh, so let's talk about picks. Uh, give me the one horse. I think Nody Hudson fits this very, very well. Has ran a good second over this racetrack facing Oxymore last year in the Skidmore. Uh, now we're coming back here in the quick call. I think Nody Hudson found a new dimension with James Graham last time, able to come from off the pace. And I think that makes this horse very, very tough, like that six to one price. Give me the three eyewitness in second, four to one for Wesley Ward. So go to the Ward Exacta. Again, a horse that was able to close last time going further. I think that's going to be beneficial here. Eyewitness is going to need come from just off the pace to be able to get the job done. So give me the three in second. And I'll take the seven better days ahead. The horse, I think, has the best chance of holding of all the speed horses in this spot. Uh, Sai is aboard for Joe Sharp, six to one on the line there. Now, if we do scratch off, uh, to me, this becomes a two horse race. I, I still think seven better days ahead, probably your best horse in here, but you got to respect the nine uncashed Larry Valley. I read Ortiz up horses four for five over the dirt course. Buyers have been improving consistently through the last four races since we switched over to the Larry Ravelli barn. Should be a horse that would be a gate to wire threat because of the other speed in here. That's why I didn't use the nine, uh, but I do think on dirt, the nine becomes very, very difficult. So give me nine, seven if we end up on the dirt. Thank you very much for checking out this preview of the Quick Call Stakes. Make sure you're checking out all the previews over at RacingDudes.com. And make sure you're checking out Dudes Who Bet Daily for best bets around the sports and horse racing world every day, 9 Pacific, noon Eastern. We'll see you at the track. RacingDudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track. Summer's here. Our picks are heating up. We want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to the Racing Dudes YouTube channel right now. Click the notification bell. You don't want to miss a single one of our awesome videos. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.